Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's talk about a special type of counting number called the prime numbers. Now prime numbers are defined as numbers that can only be divided by the number 1 and by itself. So some examples of that are the numbers 3, 7, and 19. You can go ahead and try it. 3, 7, and 19 can only be divided by 1 and by itself. How do you find the prime numbers? How can you pick a number and realize it's a prime number? Well, there's some ways in which we can get a pretty good idea whether or not a number is a prime number. First of all, the main idea is try to divide the number by a smaller prime number and see if it's possible. If it is, then it's not a prime number. For example, when we talk about a one-digit number, we should simply memorize that the numbers 2, 3, 5, and 7 are the prime numbers smaller than 10. For the two-digit numbers between 10 and 20, we can memorize that the numbers 11, 13, 17, and 19 are prime numbers as well. But when the numbers get bigger, it's not as obvious as to figure out when you have a prime number or not. For example, the numbers between 20 and 50. Well, the rules are as follows. First of all, the number cannot be even. The number cannot end in a 5 or a 0. The sum of the digits of the number cannot be a multiple of 3. And then finally, it cannot be divisible by smaller prime numbers such as 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. That may not be as obvious, but sometimes we do need to look at that to see if we're dealing with a prime number or not. So here are the numbers from 21 to 50. Let's quickly determine which of these are prime numbers following the rules. First of all, I like the rule, if it ends in a 5 or 0, it cannot be a prime number because then it's divisible by 5. So all the numbers that end in 5 or end in 0 can simply be eliminated. Here we go, 40, 45, and 50. We're sure that those are not prime numbers. Now let's go for all the even ones. If the number is even, that means it's divisible by 2, it cannot be a prime number. So we can get rid of all the even numbers, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 would have been caught under that rule as well, 32, 34, 36, 38, 42, 44, 46, and 48. So with the numbers that are left over, let's go to the next rule. Let's add up the digits and see if they add up to either a 3 or a multiple of 3. For example, 2 plus 1 is 3, that means that it's not a prime number because when the digits add up to a 3 or a multiple of 3, the number is divisible by 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, so we can't get rid of that. 2 plus 7 is 9, which is a multiple of 3, so we can get rid of that number. 2 plus 9 is 11, it's not a multiple of 3. 3 plus 1 is 4, that's not a multiple of 3. 33, well, we know that that's divisible by 11 or it's a multiple of 3 when we add the digits together, so that's not a prime number. 37, 3 plus 7 is 10, it's not a multiple of 3. 39, yes, 3 plus 9, that's 12, which is a multiple of 3, not a prime number. 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 plus 3 is 7, 4 plus 7 is 11, 4 plus 9, that's 13. Okay, so we can't use that rule to get rid of those. Let's see if there's anything else we can get rid of. Well, first of all, we know that 49 is 7 squared, which means that can be divided by 7. That's not a prime number. Let's now go to each one of those and see if we can figure out if it's a prime number or not. 23 cannot be divided by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5, by 6, by 7, by 8, by 9. I think at this point we determined that is a prime number. Next to number 29. Again, it cannot be divided by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, it's starting to look like a prime number. There's another one. 31, the same thing, cannot be divided by any of those small numbers. That's a prime number. And uh, let's come over here, the number 37. Not divisible by 7, by 11, by 13, by 17, nothing like that. So there's another prime number. And the number 41, that also falls in that category. The number 43 also falls in that category, and finally the number 47. You'll find that you cannot define any of those numbers circled by any of the, num any of the numbers listed. They do not end in a 0 or 5, they're not even, and they cannot be divided by 3. So those are the only prime numbers between the numbers 20 and 50. And that's kind of the way you do it for any prime number. You simply determine, does it end in a 0 or a 5? Is it even? 
when you add the digits together, is it a multiple of three? And then a quick check, can you divide it by a smaller prime number that you know? And if all those answers are no, you're almost sure that you're dealing with a prime number. That's how it's done.